unilaterally decided that? Uh, no, we've ran through pretty much every other muscle group possible this week. I pulled my groin like four years ago, and I don't know, dude. Things a little quivery every time I start doing like heavy leg presses or whatever. Not that I'm a heavy leg press kind of guy, but dude, that thing is like. <laughs> what kind of guy are you? I'm a baggy shorts, fucking do your calves and hope for the best kind of guy. <laughs> Those guys that go to the gym and like drop their pants, they're sitting there flexing their fucking quads and doing the whole deal in the mirror. Yeah, I can't do that. So we're going to the gym, then we're gonna get, what, some food? We're trying to think of something amazing that's out here. We always go to the same spots and it's kind of getting lame. Maybe we'll venture out to like Palm Springs, find something cool. They have like stuff where like, Sinatra and like the Rat Pack guys used to hang out. And I kind of want to do one of those staycations out there. So they do have some cool hotels. You just have to be selective about where you're going because you can easily pick a hotel and not know what you're getting yourself into. Palm Springs has the hotel with the bridge that's enclosed that goes from one side of the street to the other. It goes over the, the main drag, but you can't see through it it's specifically for people that are naked. Wait, they're, what? They're, the two hotels are connected on either side are, are nudist hotels. So they have a How bridge. How am I just now hearing about this? Dude, the, I, we, I, we've driven past it. The bridge <laughs> was built so that people wouldn't have to put their clothes on to go across the street. Wait, it's wait, a naked wait. bridge. Why do you know this? Everybody knows that they grew up out here. Was, no, I have not been there. <laughs> Would you go there? No. <laughs> Palm Springs, man. But there's good food out there. There's a couple restaurants that are kind of cool. I'm trying to think. There's a Mexican restaurant, it's not bad. A couple of like bar spots. Ah, oh, I know where we could go. There's an upstairs like uh, steak burger place. I'm trying to remember what it's called, but you have to go up these stone stairs and it overlooks the, uh, the, the main drag. It's right there in downtown. It's pretty fucking good. So that's where we're going today? We might want to do that place. Okay. Because the other place I was thinking about was George's Burger. George's Burgers in uh, right next to Palm Springs, and it's like a bar grill. But the guy that owns and runs the place, George, he uh, he hurls insults at you the whole time you're there, and he's mean. Like it's not cool, and you have to know that going in because you don't know. Like and he won't tell you either. Like he, if he pisses you off, you walk out. You walk out. So if you don't notice that it's George's Burgers, and at the very bottom of the sign says "and insults." Yeah, like you're gonna be like, what's this guy's problem? Like, he will go off on you the whole time you're there. Usually at the end of your meal, if you were a good sport about it, he'll kind of smile at you like, oh, you're a pretty good sport. Like, and he'll tell you like, hi, whatever. Ooh, front, front parking, front parking. Get out my way! All right, you ready to do this? Yeah, what are we doing again? Back. Back. All right. I'm gonna do your cab feeders. Yes. Does that mean I have to do the stairs? Yes, it does. <sighs> We got the Arnold Classic coming up, and I really don't want to lose the remnants of my second chin. I've been working on that. <laughs> so you think it's really just stairs? I'm trying to keep your second chin. I'm trying to get. I'm trying to get huge everywhere, even in my chin.
finished the gym. Now we're on our way to eat some food. And that awesome dinner we were talking about doing before the gym where we're gonna pick out some place we hadn't been to yet. It was gonna be like some new experience for us. Yeah. We decided to go use my uh, Cheesecake Factory gift cards that I haven't used uh, since I got them around Christmas. So real different, real exotic, right? But hey, you know, I think there's, I think there's vouchers for cheesecake in here, if I'm not mistaken. So uh, all is not lost. Can't go wrong with Cheesecake Factory. We'll do the exotic dinner another day. We had a pretty good workout though. At least I did. How was your workout? Well, I'm really happy that we finally did hypers because we don't really do lower back Dude. usually. No bullshit, those things fucking scare me. <laughs> and Why does it scare you? I don't know, I feel like I'm gonna fall off the fucking thing or the whole thing's gonna tip over. I know it's not, but in my head I'm like, this whole fucking thing's gonna go over and then I don't, can you imagine the, like what would happen to me if that whole thing tipped over with me on it? You'd do a scorpion. What's a scorpion? You know like skateboarders when they face plant and their legs come up over their head. <laughs> yeah, that's not gonna be a good look for me if that ever happens. Are you gonna get cheesecake? It's really hard to say no to cheesecake, but I'm also like, yeah, uh, Arnold, Ohio is coming up quick, so. Man, you keep saying that, but we always say that. It seems like we don't really change our diet leading up to those things, and then you show up and you're skinny as fuck. Oh, so, okay. well, you are. Look at the LA one. You put on that crop top. You had like a waist the size of my fucking thumb. And I'm pretty sure we were eating burgers and ice cream that week. Then I show up, I look like fucking water buffalo. Fuck it. It's all good. Like Craig said, trying to get huge. What are we gonna do after dinner? What do you wanna do? I don't know. I feel like we should go for a walk on the beach or something. But there's you no really beach. Feel like, I was gonna say, you feel like driving like two and a half hours to go to the beach, really? No. Okay. No. They need to build an artificial beach out here. Could fucking move somewhere that's, you know. Desirable. Cool. <laughs> I mean, this is cool. Like, the gym scene's a little hit and miss. You know, it's probably not what you're used to. Cause she took me to, you know, we go to Venice and fucking Chanel's like fucking Miss Girl About Town, knows everybody, fucking everybody loves her. So Not everybody. Well, the people that matter love her. And, you know, it's cool, like it's a cool vibe at Venice Beach, or Gold's, uh, Gold's Venice Beach, or fucking uh, North Hollywood Gold's, or, you know, all these gyms that she takes me to, we kind of go over there and hang out. And, she introduces me to the crowd or whatever. It's cool. And then we get out here, it's it's my peeps. And <laughs> we're a little different fucking breed out here. So it's taking it's kind of taking you a little bit to get used to it. But it's it's getting better, I feel like. People are like warming up to you and you're warming up to them. And you got to meet some some interesting characters today. The guy with the Air Force tattoo is my favorite. <laughs> yeah, that wasn't an Air Force tattoo. <laughs> Look at the clouds. It usually doesn't rain out here. Like, the storms usually get stuck behind the mountains. Maybe it's gonna rain tomorrow. We're supposed to take pictures tomorrow. Yeah, I wouldn't, I wouldn't think you'd wanna do that. But then like, you went to that photo studio and you had the rain room. So what's the difference? You get it for free this way. <laughs> uh, the difference is like being prepared and not being prepared. Oh, uh, I guess. Do a bathing suit uh, shot. No? I'm not trying to do bathing suit pictures tomorrow. Why? I'm trying to take pictures of our clothes tomorrow. Yeah, I know. Should really come out with bathing <laughs> like suits. Like any excuse for you to get me an underwear or a bathing suit. You're like, let's do it. Do you blame me? There's also an ice cream place over here. So, but if we're gonna do cheesecake, we probably shouldn't do both. What ice cream place do you want to go to? They have uh, Ben and Jerry's over here. It's right next to cheesecake. Yeah. Doesn't suck so much to be in the desert now, does it? The point of going to Ben and Jerry's to the actual place. Is because they have the unique thing. Yeah. yeah like if don't. you want the regular shit, you just go down to the 7-Eleven or the goddamn uh, uh, Vons or whatever where we go. Just get the regular shit. We've been going to Target to get our like unique flavors. Didn't you say Target has like their own... Um... They get their own exclusive ones like the um, Peanut Butter World. Which one do you like from Target? The, the Mint fire. Oh, the Arctic mint or something? It's like chocolate with mint. Green mint. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I can't remember well, I what it's called. Green. But, yeah, that one's bomb. They have, and they have a cookie like that. Alinea and Larry's cookie like that, too. She'd eat them both at the same time. 
Like mix them? You should make a sandwich. You can make an ice cream oh, sandwich. Oh, what the fuck? Did and you really just come up with that right now? Uh, yeah. Holy well, I used, I used the Cherry Garcia for Dude, the, the we could chocolate get, lava cakes the other night. What if we got the Lenny and Larry's cookies and put the fucking ice cream the in The corresponding them? ice cream of them? Oh, my God. Because they have the... Are you having an epiphany right now? Yes. Holy shit, dude. Well, cheesecake didn't work out too well. We went over there and there was like, uh, what, about 100 people in there? And it was a 45 minute wait. For a party of two. For a party of two. We uh, are on our way to try to get sushi at this spot over here. That's this a little like our bit. our backup sushi spot. <laughs> it is our backup sushi. Because the sushi spot we wanted to go to is packed. We didn't even bother to go look. I know it's packed. Every like, I backup restaurant look. we wanted to go to is packed. Food. There was a steakhouse that I was like, let's just go there. And Chanel's like, no. I told you we could go to In-N-Out no, Burger. I don't want In-N-Out Burger. I've been eating that shit every day. I'm like, see, you wanted to get me like a $60 fucking steak. And I'm like, let's just go get like a $4 burger and call it a night, man. I'm over this. <laughs> well, if this sushi shit doesn't work out, like if there's a billion people there or there's like a 30 minute wait, like you're going to be getting your wish because I ain't fucking doing it. If Soup Plantation right here had meat, I'd fucking go there. Have you been to Soup Plantation? I love Soup Plantation. Oh, you do? Yeah. Maybe we'll go there. I'll just go home and get... Dude, if you bring your own meat, it's cool. Just bring a little like like a Ziploc baggie full of meat. Just kind of throw it on your food. <laughs> bring your own meat. B-Y-O-M. Right? <laughs> Bring your own meat. B-Y-O-M. Beyond. Dude, beyond. Dude, that might be or a thing biome? for us. Biome. Is it biome? Biome. I like that one. Biome. <laughs> that sounded like Cardi B. I like that. Biome. <laughs> Only it has like nothing to do with anything she would ever talk about. <laughs> I can't do it. Biome. Oh, grrr. Go walking in there with a big old cargo pocket full of meat, dude. Like, what the hell is in his pocket? I love salad bars. I miss the salad bars at like places like when I was a kid we used to go to Sizzler all the time. I Ooh, love their garlic that. cheese toast is the bomb. I haven't been there in like 20 years though. That's the last time I ate at a Sizzler. The last time I went to Sizzler was in Baldwin Park and that one has menudo. No way. Yes way dude.